Immediately after birth, they knew that there was a problem. I came out of mom, and as soon as they snipped the cord, actually, he didn't have the right color. It looked as though their baby's first few moments of life could be his last. But doctors at UCLA made an accurate diagnosis of his serious heart condition within minutes of his birth and immediately planned their strategy to save him. Brody Bensler, is, uh, has, his condition is called transposition of the great arteries. Artery going to the lung and the artery going to the uh, rest of the body have been switched. So the blue blood is actually going out to the body through this. Brody is not getting enough oxygen. His heart is pumping his oxygen-rich blood the wrong way, and he is fighting for life. Within the first 24 hours of life, we were able to open the wall between the upper chambers of the heart right at the baby's bedside in our neonatal intensive care unit to allow mixing of that blood so that the baby's oxygen was going to the body rather than to the lungs. With Brody gaining strength, doctors can now perform a so-called switch procedure to permanently fix his heart. I'm going to grow up to be big and strong. Now this switch procedure is a, is a very technically difficult operation because we not only have to switch the vessels, we also have to switch the tiny little vessels that feed the, the blood flow to the heart. The Bensler's baby tomorrow will undergo an operation where the, these great vessels that are crossed will be uncrossed in the operating room. This is something that is one of the great advances in heart surgery, the ability to operate on the neonatal heart, which is really about the size of a walnut. Brody's surgery is a success, and there are so many others. Mattel Children's Hospital UCLA is pioneering techniques for babies born with just one pumping chamber instead of two. Once a death sentence, survival rates are now near 90%, and doctors are able to diagnose heart problems earlier than ever before. For many years, our obstetricians have been able to see the fetus as a whole, and that was very helpful. But new techniques of honing in on the image of the heart itself has, have allowed us to see the heart valves, the heart chambers, and establish the blood flow pattern that will exist after the baby's born as early as 16 to 18 weeks into the gestation. Today is a day you're going to meet the world. You're going to go home, Brody. Two weeks after surgery, Brody says goodbye to all his new friends. Mattel Children's Hospital UCLA nurses, doctors, support staff, and volunteers. Like so many babies who in the past might not have made it, Brody is going home. Overall, these patients do exceedingly well. I think Brody's a good example of that, where they came, the patient came in. In your death, honestly, his heart is doing fantastic, and we don't expect any other procedures for Brody, so that this, should be, this should be a one-time fix for him. Today is going home and everybody's excited, the staff and the parents and Brody, I hope. <laughs> We're very proud of him. <laughs>